the wind doesn't mess anything up here. Ah, yes it is. It is. I feel like it is. Damn it. Good afternoon. It is booty. We're on the Colorado Trail and we're on the home stretch. So, feels good. I'm ready. I also want to keep hiking for an extended period of time. Feel like I have another few months in me. <laughs> That's the through hiker talking. Um, but man, this has been an epic journey so far. I spent a look what's behind me. I mean, seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, this has been an epic journey so far. Um, I spent an extra day to kind of soak it in uh, before taking the final steps here over in uh, Silverton being a glorified hobo with some friends. Um, I went from the Mollus Lake campground after un unsuccessful fishing um, into Silverton with Chopper, uh, Tulsa, and Lou. We did some um, exploring, some chores. Um, I saw the old western east side of Silverton that I didn't see the other day, which I'm glad I did. Blasted from the past. And uh, we checked out the Avon Hostel where we loitered there. <laughs> um, whether how much they tolerated there or not, uh, we're grateful to have been able to spend an extended amount of time there with our friend that was staying there, Marathon. Um, we did some jamming. There's a nice guitar there. Um, Tulsa plays mean guitar. Um, Lou has badass singing voice. So it was fun hanging out. The Avon is also a very rustic place. It used to be a brothel. And uh, it's just got a very homey, rustic charm that you feel like you're in the 1800s. So it was a lovely time. We kept exploring afterwards and got a few bites to eat, some drinks, um, had some laughs, had some stories. It was uh, something that felt, felt very special uh, to do with the company of some friends and in a different setting, some place that I've never been to before. It's getting windy. I hope that doesn't mess anything up. Um, yeah, it was a good time. And then, uh, like I said, we stealth camped there and then got some breakfast. Went to the back to the campground this morning. Got a boat. Uh, still unsuccessful in fishing. Um, I've been having bad luck on this trip in fishing. I haven't caught anything yet, but I did see an osprey today, so that was cool. Um, running out of breath while talking. Just uh, all it takes is a rest day. And it feels like um, I've been out of shape for a week, but uh, it doesn't take long to get back in the groove of it. Just. <sighs> I shoved a lot of calories in me today, so that played a part. But anyways, um, those friends that I mentioned are going, or ahead of me, that is, and uh, see if I can catch up with them. And uh, pending, you know, I, I do like spending time with others out here. But if my legs are 
telling me to keep going. Um, I think I have no choice. Um, and it's a it's a hard thing to uh, balance is you know stopping and starting back again and knowing when to stop um, when it feels right even though your legs are telling you to keep going um, so I experimented that with that yesterday and uh, I, I enjoyed it but I know I am uh, quite the independent person so we uh, also came up with a term the group um, we'll see what happens when we get there kind of plans so I think that's what is on the agenda today I have left uh, around 3 30 p.m. for Mullis Pass and uh, got some more views in store some more fun some more adventure so not quite done yet folks let's see what we got booty out Um, this question has come to mind um, recently and I'm curious about other hikers as well which I'll uh, probably make a Facebook post in the trail group but um, I've also asked this question to myself why do I hike um, <clears throat> I hike to, well, I kind of, I kind of brushed over it um, right before I started hiking. Um, it's to learn and understand myself and the universe uh, better. Um, and to find new thoughts old thoughts um, to experience ego death um, uh, also known as I guess just humbling yourself by breaking yourself down day in day out breaking your uh, body down by hiking to great lengths and putting your willpower at the test by uh, going over strenuous climbs. Um, and it just humbles you, it makes you more confident in yourself. Like if I could just, if I climb that highest peak right there, then like, man, I could really do anything and you really find out what you're capable of um, and like you see something new every day something inspiring and I'm look I'm walking through this cool field right here um, anyways wow <laughs> I don't even know what these are called anyways sorry I got distracted <laughs> but yeah something something new inspiring and there's so much inspiration you can draw from nature. Like everything in life is tied to uh, what's before me right here. So right now it's peace and serenity and stillness. Um, 
and uh, let's see, and the people, um, this, the synchronicities. Um, I find so many synchronicities out here and just happenstance things, like things just all fall into place without effort, or it, it seems like without effort. Manifestations and uh, the people are just so kind and uh, loving to you without even knowing who you are. They just know that you're hiking the, this big trail. And uh, I guess it's something that not everybody gets to do. And it makes me more and more grateful for every day out here on the trail and being alive every day and seeing the sunshine so um, yeah that's uh there's probably a lot more reasons I can think of but those are the main ones of why I'm out here hiking and to inspire others like whoever is watching this so anyways that's that like uh, the top right there. Let's go see what's over there. Never really a morning person, so I don't get hiking until the sun's already up. But these sunrise hikes are quite special. Good morning, it's Booty. We're on the Colorado Trail. It's day 27, I did the math. Day 27, a couple days left. Well, two and a half days by my calculations. Um, yesterday, I did about 13 or 14 miles. Um, and I, you know, bounced back and forth between Tulsa, Chopper, and Lou, and um, came across Van Gogh with his friend that is backpacking here for the first time or backpacking ever for the first time um, so they are taking it slow um, shared some sentimental words and um, some backgrounds with each other and um, chatted for a little bit before saying our most likely goodbyes until maybe the next trail. Um, and Van Gogh shared uh, a thought that, uh, you know, I kind of um, 
felt the same way about. Um, this trail is 483 miles total. Um, and him, Tulsa, and I have hiked the Appalachian Trail. Um, so by um, by the time we reached Damascus, we would Damascus, Virginia, on the Appalachian Trail, we would have hiked uh, close to the same amount of miles. Um, and um, that is around the time where you're just starting to get in the groove. Um, your legs are just getting under you and um, you <clears throat> have started to cult perhaps cultivate some uh, friendships and are just, you know, like I said, just get in the groove. Um, and he said, this is a tease. Um, I'm glad I'm doing it regardless or not if it's a tease, but, uh, he's like, I just met you all and, uh, he's a sweetheart. He, he, uh, he said, I just met you all and, uh, and now we're, you know, parting ways. So, um, I, I agree whole, wholeheartedly that, uh, I've met some awesome people and in the blink of an eye, um, they will be gone from my life, from my everyday life. It's, uh, it's, uh, been a long trail, but, uh, it feels a little quicker than it should be. Um, I feel like I want to keep hiking. Uh, for another few months or so. Um, unfortunately, that is not in the cards this go round. Um, so, yep, that's that's about it. It's a it's a bittersweet kind of thing, you know. You meet these cool, awesome people, and then then they're gone, and you see all these views for a month and then poof it's gone it's like a uh, shock to the system but uh, I'm grateful for it either way either way <sighs> so um, anyways we have today we have 61 miles to go for this trail I have looked at the terrain the terrain looks super easy. Um, I imagine my legs will want to go for about 25 miles today. That That is my guess. Um, I like to give myself some challenges. Um, I'm still working off all the food that I ate the past couple days. So, um, yeah, I plan on hiking till the sunset. As per usual, um, then tomorrow, uh, probably do the same thing. And then I'll have, you know, maybe 10, 15 miles left to go to finish it out. Um, and uh, I saw my eyes. Only for the moment and the moments.
So I knew where wild strawberries would be by you figure out by this red vine here. And but they're very hard to see. So you kind of have to look for them. A uh, gentleman by the name of Tree Man, he's doing a yo-yo, uh, just showed me a field of strawberries. And I am currently picking them right now.